Hello there, World of Tankers. Welcome back to another one of my videos. I am Drittles Blitz, and today I'm going to be talking about crates in World of Tanks Blitz. Now, the reason I wanted to make a video on crates specifically is because, as you guys know, more and more crate tanks come into the game. And I've noticed a lot of people don't really understand how bad your odds are of getting the vehicles in the crates. The T22 Medium has a 5% drop chance, and I've had a handful of players ask me if they buy 20 crates, does that mean they're going to get a 100% guaranteed chance because 5 times 20 is 100. However, that is not nearly as good as your odds will ever get trying to get the T22 Medium or any tank in that matter with like a 5% or even a 10% drop chance. So in this video, I'm going to go over all the math you need to know about really how poor your odds are and what you really get out of the crates you do purchase. Now, of course, this video is going to have some math, some numbers, and statistics in it to let you guys know the actual drop chances of certain crates and everything else like that. And the nice thing is, is with the numbers and stuff I'm going to give you, it's sort of a formula that you can plug in on your own and figure out the drop chance of your, you know, the tank that you're spending money on to get in crates if you ever do. Now, a lot of people that I know and a lot of people have asked me questions on Discord like, if I buy 20 containers with a 5% drop chance, does that mean I get the tank guaranteed? Because 20 times 5 is 100, so 100% 100 chance of getting it. This is not how crates work at all. Crates in World of Tanks Blitz are 5% drop chance, but they're 5% of each container. So it's not like you open the first one, you have a 5%, you open the next one, you got a 10%, and then it keeps going up like that. The way it really works is you have a 5% on the first one, and then you have a 5% on the second, and a 5% on the third. So that is the way the crates work. And the actual way to figure out the percentage of getting the tank is, let's say, again, that you bought 20 of these containers. Now, the way to do it is because these containers have a 5% drop chance, what you want to do is you want to subtract the percent of the drop chance by 100%. So you have a 95% chance of not getting the tank. And then what you want to do is you want to put that into a decimal point. So you want to do 0.95, put that in brackets, and put that to the power of how many crates you've bought. So for example, as I said, 20 crates are bought. So you do 0.95 to the power of 20, and then that number you get would be 0.36. So all you want to do after that is subtract that 0.36 from the value of 1, which is otherwise 36% off of 100%, and you're going to be left with 64%, which means in the end, you're going to have a 64% chance of picking up a vehicle like the T22 Medium after opening up 20 crates. Now that, of course, is only suitable for if you were to buy 20 crates with a 5% drop chance. So if you had a 10% drop chance, it would be 0.9 times 20, and if you bought a different number of crates, it would be a different value. So that is how the number part works. And the nice thing about this little function is that it works on any single drop chance. So it doesn't matter if it's a 50% drop chance and you want to buy 10 crates. It doesn't matter if it's a 1% drop chance. You can plug in any single number for the drop chance and how many crates you want to buy with the simple tricks that I told you guys, and it'll work every single time. So depending on how much money you want to spend, the drop chance, everything like that, you can just plug it in here and everything will work out fine. So that's one really nice thing about this little formula. And the other really, really nasty thing is it shows you just how bad crates really are in Blitz. I decided to plug in 90 crates with a 5% drop chance just for the heck of it and you still, even with 90 crates purchased, have a 1% chance of not picking up the T22 or any vehicle with a 5% drop chance. And the thing about that is it's still crazy to think that you can op open up 90 crates just non-stop. That is like $5 a crate. You're just opening and opening and opening. You're spending like $400, $500 in crates just alone there, and you still have a 1% chance of not getting the vehicle. And the crazy thing is, is it is theoretically impossible to pick up the tank with a specified number of money. You could spend $10 billion on crates and not pick up the T22 Medium because every single crate has a 5% drop chance on its own, as I said in the beginning. So the crazy thing is, is you could spend $100,000 and not pick up the tank and somebody can open up one crate and get the vehicle. So that is one little nasty thing about the statistics. But overall, from my experiences with crates, this formula seems to work out 90 
95% of the time. The other thing I wanted to say about crates is you always need to read the fine details about them. Wargaming is obligated by law to tell you the drop chances of these vehicles because, of course, if they don't, then they, they could just be lying, you don't know the value. So they have to tell you by law the drop chance of the vehicles. And this year's Blitzfair, um, when they brought out, or should I say last year's Blitzfair, when they brought out the T-22 medium and they had the VK-90 and those tanks in the, uh, the snow globe or whatever, it was very hard to tell, but you had to scroll all the way to the bottom of their newsletter. They told you the drop chances of those vehicles in the snow globe. And it was like a 1% drop chance for the T-22 and like a 1% drop chance for the VK-90. And those things you really want to pay attention to because I had a lot of people keep saying, well, I keep landing on tanks like the IS-3 Defender and other stuff that I don't want. And I just want to get one of these tier 10 vehicles. And you really need to look closely on the fine things that Wargaming tries to keep away from you so that you don't know just how slim your odds are at actually getting the take you want. The other thing that actually kind of ticks me off lately is if you guys know, well I'm guessing all of you guys know, but collector vehicles sell for gold. That's what Wargaming like purposely made them do. I'm not sure why they wanted to make it like that, but collector vehicles do sell for gold. But the funny thing is, is when you buy T-22 medium crates, if you read in the fine print, it says you get like 6.1 million credits in compensation if you get it again, or you already have it in your garage. Now, that is bull crap, because it is a collector vehicle, which means it would cost you gold to buy back the tank if you sold it. Wargaming should give you the value of the tank in gold if you re-roll on it. I'm not sure why they're not doing that, but in my opinion, that is pretty much bull. Because if you were to land on a tank like the Chieftain, I get it. It's a premium tank. You can get it back for credits in the player uh, support ticket area. But the T-22 medium and collector vehicles, you cannot do that. So why are they giving you credits for a tank that shouldn't be giving you credits if you were to sell it? That's something that really kind of annoyed me. Because sometimes I'll look at these crates and I'll be like, well, I need a bit of free experience. And if I land on the tank, you know, maybe I'll get 15,000, 16,000 gold sometimes. So it's not that bad for me either way. And I've already got 46,000 gold to waste. But I don't know why, but they just decided all of a sudden in like the past month of crates to stop doing the gold. And they switched right over to credits. So that is one thing that did annoy me. But other than that... I just want to let you guys know really the true values and statistics on crates. And what's nice, as I said, is you can plug these values in on any crates in the game, um, and you can pretty much figure out the drop chances of anything, uh, depending on how much money you're willing to spend. Now, of course, as I said before, don't take this uh, completely. You have to take this with a grain of salt, because you have to remember that, as I said, you could open up 20,000 chests with a 5% drop chance and still not get the T-22 medium or whatever you're trying to get guaranteed. So while this number calculator and the percentage drop chance may be the closest thing to what you'll actually get if you open them, I can't foresee the future at all. Neither can the statistics. This is just telling you what the statistical average would be if you were to open them all. But I personally opened up Badger Crates and it cost me over like $600 over the past two years of trying to get the Badger, um, you know, just the crates and everything else like that. I just kept opening them and opening them. The thing about that was, is I should have gotten the tank, I probably opened up 25, 30 containers and I should have gotten the tank statistically within like the 20 containers. So. The thing is, is that this number thing may not work every single time. Don't just fully go biased on it. You know, if you think, well, if I buy 30 containers and it'll cost me $100, and I've got a 99% chance of getting it with this number plugged in, that's not exactly how it's going to work. But this is just sort of a nice alibi to go by, um, to at least trust in the numbers a little more, or not trust in them, depending on how much you're willing to spend. But of course, other than that, I hope you did enjoy this video. This actually took me a long time. It took me months to think of the numbers and the algorithms that would go into, you know, figuring out how much or what your actual drop chance would be on getting these tanks. So uh, I do love all the tank splits and I really try and share knowledge. So I hope you did learn something in this video, just on the numbers in general. Um, but other than that, as always, make sure to hit that like button down below if you did like the video. If you didn't, hit that down vote button. Let me know. Give me some constructive 
criticism, let me know if I messed up the formula, because it did take me a while to work on, but if I messed up the numbers, I'll obviously make a recap video saying this is incorrect, check out this one, I'll take down the other one, or I'll put a link in the bottom of it saying that the numbers here are slightly off, anything like that. But really, other than that, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe. Let's try and get to 6,000, 7,000, 8,000. Keep on climbing that ladder. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great one, guys.